today I rise for my mother who is a superhero who had to flee her homeland 39 years ago with us in tow, who was never able to return, who did not get to hug her mother and say goodbye. I rise for the women and girls losing agency over their bodies, for the women who cannot work and provide for their families and face starvation. We rise for Afghan women. We rise for Afghan population. They need freedom. Speak loudly when you say no more drone strikes in Afghanistan. Speak loudly when you demand that the U.S. open their doors to Afghan refugees. What happened 20 years ago is happening yet again. If girls are barred from school until the grade six, how are we going to have female teachers who teach these girls? Is this how they're slowly planning to take our rights away one by one? The argument that Islam does not allow women to be educated is false and disrespectful to the many Muslim women who have exceeded beyond their goals and aspirations. I'm reading Nuria's testimony and we've been working tirelessly to get women like her out of Afghanistan and into safety. I'm Dr. Nuria. I'm a gynecologist in one of hospitals in Kabul. When the Taliban entered Kabul, we were busy with work in the hospital serving people. Suddenly, there were strange noises. People were really scared. Everyone started to rush into the hospital and people were afraid that the Taliban would take over the hospital. It was the day that darkness took over Afghanistan, affecting all the people of Afghanistan, especially, especially the women. We don't recognize you, Taliban. Women's rights are human rights. I'm an Afghan woman displaced stripped of my country. I have to fight to understand my lineage. I have to scramble to record the stories of my elders in fear that they'll be lost forever. But I am still an Afghan woman and no one will take that from me. I am reminded of my grandmother, of my ancestors, who take charge and lead society and lead the way for all of Afghanistan. Despite the threat of the Taliban whipping women, despite the Taliban threatening violence, Women are still on the streets of Kabul today and around Afghanistan demanding for their rights. In Dari, one of our languages in Afghanistan, we have a proverb that says, Qatra Qatra Darya Misha. The meaning of this is, drop by drop, a river is made. As a global community, we join together to use our voices, our resources, and our collective power. Drop by drop, in solidarity with the people of Afghanistan, the river of justice must flow. Ay, what a, ay, what a,